Hi guys! It's me again, Maloney or Denisa Cervantes, your one and only tour guide. So for today's video, we were explore and learn the prayer of palace. So I know everyone is ready and excited. So sit back and relax and without further ado, let's start. So, prayer palettes, arts, is a movement that emerged in England in the mid-19th century. So, the prayer palettes brotherhood, a group of young artists, formed in 1848 with the aim of reviving the styles and spirit of medieval and early Renaissance arts, which, um, uh, which they saw as purer and more sincere than the academic art of their time. The prayer palettes rejected the conventions of academic art which they saw as artificial and superficial and instead sought to create art that was more truthful and emotional expressive. So they were ex uh, inspired by the nature's world and sought to create a more realistic representation of their art. So they also drew on mm, literature, mythology and history for subject matters and often infuse their works with symbolic and allegorical meaning. So prayer palette's arts is characterized by its attentions to details, vibrant colors, and complex composition. So the artists um, often use bright jewel-like colors and intricate patterns to create a sense of decorative richness in their paintings. So they also often depicted women as idealized imperial figures with long flowing hair and delicate features. So here are some of the famous prayer palette artists. So first, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. He was a British poet, instructor, painter, and a translator. And her artwork is the Lady Lilith, who is figure from Jewish mythology and is portrayed as an iconic Amazon-like female with long flowing hair. So the name Lilith is derived from the Babylonia Talmud. Um, it is refers to a dangerous demon of the neck uh, of the night, associated with the seductions of men and murder of children. Next is William Hallman Hunt. So he was an English painter and one of the founder of the Prayer Palette's Brotherhood. So his paintings were notable for their great attentions to details vivid colors and elaborate symbolism so his famous artwork is the awakening conscience that was conceived as the material counterpart to hands the light of the world so um, its inspirations was a verse from proverbs as um, as he that taken away a garment and cold weather so is he that sing in song to an heavy heart and now, the last one artist is John Evelette Millay. So, John Evelette Millay was an English painter and instructor. So, it depicts of Ophelia, a character from William Shakespeare's uh, play Ham uh, Hamlet, singing before she drowned in a river. So, the work encountered a mixed response with the first exhibit at the, Ro uh, at the Royal Academy, but has since come to be admired as one of the most important works of the mid-19th century for its beauty, its accurate depictions of the natural landscape, and its influence on artists from John William Waterhouse and Salvador Dali to Peter Blake, Ed Rashka, and Friedrich Heresy. The art of these three artists has a significant impact on the development of later movements such as symbolism and art novel. So that's the all for our video and I hope everyone enjoyed. So see you next vlog. Bye-bye!